Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. But before I read that story, I just wanted to show you some of this stuff. My daughter Madison, uh, who has moved out of this house uh, a while ago, is moving to a different location. And she's taken some of this stuff with her. So to kind of celebrate and to kind of, uh, I don't know, dedicate this story to her, uh, I'm going to read you... The Bernstein Bears Moving Day by Stan and Jan Bernstein. And this book was copyright in 1981. Their stuff is all packed. Here comes the truck. Let's move with the bears and wish them good luck. The Bear family didn't always live in the big tree house down a sunny dirt road deep in Bear Country. Years ago, when Brother Bear was only a cub, they lived in a hillside cave halfway up the Great Bear Mountain at the far edge of Bear Country. It was a comfortable cave, cool in the summer and cozy in the winter, and while it wasn't perfect, it tended to be dark and it dripped and trickled a bit. It was home, and the bear country, or sorry, and the bear family was quite happy there. Happy and busy. Mama Bear kept managing things and tending the vegetable patch. Papa Bear had plenty to do with his woodcutting and furniture making, and Brother Bear kept busy climbing and collecting rocks and playing with his friends. But living on the mountainside wasn't perfect. It wasn't easy growing vegetables in the thin rocky soil, and the trees Papa needed were getting fewer and farther, farther between. But the sun was bright, the air was clean and sparkling, and the view was magnificent. Yes, the Bear family was happy and content living in their hillside cave, halfway up Great Bear Mountain at the far edge of Bear Country. Until one day, Papa Bear said, My dears, the time has come to move. Move, cried Brother Bear. That's right, said Papa. The trees are getting few and far between on the mountainside. Yes, said Mama, and it's not easy raising enough vegetables for a growing family in this thin, rocky soil. Where are we going to move to, Brother asked. To the valley, said Papa, as he began putting lamps and things into a box. The valley, said Brother. The valley down there was nice to look at, but it wasn't but he wasn't so sure he wanted to live there. It was so far away. What about my toys? asked Brother. We'll take them along, of course. Put them in here, said Papa, handing him a box. And what about my books? We'll take them along too, said Papa, handing him another box. And what about my friends? asked Brother. We can't put them in a box and take them along. That's true, said Mama, lifting Brother in onto her lap. You'll be leaving your friends behind. Papa and I will too. That's what happens when you move, but you can keep in touch with them. You can write, even visit perhaps. And besides, you can make lots of new friends. When are we going to move, Brother wanted to know. Tomorrow, bright and early, Mama told him. The morning bears, the moving bears, will be here first thing in the morning. That night, as Brother bedded down in his corner of the cave, he wondered what it would be like to leave his old neighborhood and his old friends. He wondered what it would be like to move into a new neighborhood making new friends. And then he began to wonder if he would ever fall asleep, 
And just when it began to seem that he would, or never would, he did. The next morning, the moving bears came with their big truck and began moving the bear family's things out of the cave. Everything goes, said Papa. And everything did. The moving bears were very fast, but very careful. Before long, the cave was empty. Then, after a fond farewell look at their old home, the Bear family said goodbye to their friends and neighbors, got into their car, and headed down the mountain. The big moving truck followed. Down, down the mountainside they went. After a few tight spots and a few wrong turns, they were in the rich green forest of the valley. Look at that forest, said Papa. Now I shall have plenty of wood to cut. They passed farms with fine fields. And look at that rich brown soil. What a vegetable garden I'll have, said Mama. Brother was on the lookout for friends and playmates, but all he saw were a frog and some butterflies, and they didn't look very friendly. Get ready, said Papa, as they turned onto the sunny dirt road. Just around this bend is our new home. But it's a tree, said Brother. A tree house, said Papa, a fine tree house with a downstairs and an upstairs and an attic and even a room of your own. It was indeed a fine house, a whole house hollowed out of a great oak. It did need work. The paint was old. There were some broken steps and some of the bark was loose, but Mama and Papa had great plans for fixing it up. As the movers took the bears' things into their new house, the bears imagined what it would look like when it was all fixed. It was going to be very beautiful. They were so busy imagining that they didn't notice they had company. Their new neighbors had come with gifts of welcome. There were rabbits with carrot stew, a bird and squirrel families with seeds and nuts, and a number of bear, number of bear families with honeycombs, wild berries, and lots of cubs to make friends with. The Bear family felt very welcome in their new neighborhood. That night, they went to bed very tired, but very happy. And when they got their treehouse all fixed up, it was just about perfect. And that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.